Hello and welcome! To another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox Livestream. How's everyone doing today? All my builders and explorers of Pip Town, hopefully you are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Right, what do we have for you today? Well, we've got the good, the bad and everything in between. So we got some brick expedition to do, some arena fights and the usual. Look at this, we've got some royalty, Lego Legacy royalty in the chat. GKM Gaming, how you doing my dudes? Welcome to the stream. I saw that you streamed earlier on my dudes. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't jump on. Hopefully that went really well. This is the usual time that I stream. But with these midweek streams, it's not as popular as say like the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I can't get up to anything up to 15 people in here in the chat. But when it's a midweek stream and there isn't nothing major in the game, people come in and out, you know. Well, I say nothing major. There is something major coming, but in terms of actual in the game right now, there isn't much. Welcome to the stream, Nick Games. How you doing, my dudes? General number one in the house. Who else we have got here? Sorry if I butch butcher your name, yeah? Hold on. Patrick? Polski? Polowski? Can I just call you Pat? Hey, Beta Bricks! The one and only Beta Bricks in the house! The both generals are in. Yeah, a beat up. I took um, Leloid to six stars yesterday. Magisto is now gear seven. Master Wu gear seven. Big bad, look at my big bad. Gear 7 as well. Fake Darth Vader. Or Darth Vader wannabe. Yeah, that's how long I'm going to be streaming for. About an hour. To reset. Come on, Magisto Tower Tiles, where are you at? Any in this map? Nope, none here to report. So it doesn't really matter where I go, to be honest. Have we got any time quests that we need to keep an eye on? Let's have a look. No, we're good. I'm wondering, do I need to refresh energy? Seven, uh, I think I'm going to be all right. And I refreshed it twice. So monolith waste. 
So B top, what did you think of my tier list? I'm sure you have your opinion on it as well. I tried to satisfy everyone, like beginners, mid game, end game. Oh, by the way, GKM, I saw your um, tier list. I thought that was that was good as well. But mine is slightly different from yours. I've got uh, useless, useful, excellent, and top. Top of the range. I'm sure with the um, introduction with the new minifigs and the reworks, maybe, just maybe, the cities will, will move up. Minor Clay, Iggy. What do you mean? What is Pathfinder beat up? I'm not sure what you mean. Where did you see Pathfinder? I can give you guys my opinion on the arena. It's like it's great that you can now get more gold, sorry, more gems and more currency fourth, and then from fifth to eighth, and then from 11th to 15th. Yeah, I'm all for that, yeah? But what I don't like is that they're gonna increase the currency for the tiles. It just doesn't make sense to me. So for example, you to, you to purchase these free tiles, you need to spend more currency. But I guess it's good because you get more gems, right? The higher you're, you're ranked up. And look at this arena, guys. I wonder if your arena is as bad as mine beat up. Look at that, Magisto Tower Takeover. And the worst thing for me is I don't have a five star Magisto Tower. So when I go up against the mirror matches, I get absolutely shredded, guys. So I just got against the Ninjagos. Have them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Where is Raids, Nick Games? Well, Raids is not coming. They are working on it. Apparently it can take up to six months. The reason is because they don't know how far the old dev team got with the um, with raids. Wow! Absolutely stamped on there. You see, even my um, Magistos Tower team. It's not a given, guys, against these uh, Ninjagos. Hey, Reggie, welcome to the stream, my dude. Come on, you Spurs. Apparently, Mr. Bell had a good game today, Reggie.
Reggie says, how you doing guys? I'm still feeling deflated about the upcoming updates. I wanted raids to come so badly. I agree. But Reggie, these game modes like Tawam, Guild Wars, and Boss Fights, those are the three game modes that they did mention. So, as I was saying to you yesterday, I gave my opinion on what that could be with my experience in other mobile games. And obviously I'm going to take the L here for science, guys. Now that we've got GKM Gaming here, I can we can bounce ideas off each other. Obviously, we got Beat Up Bix here, Nick Games as well. They weren't here yesterday. Well, Nick Games was, but he I don't know if he was here for the whole stream. Yeah, Reggie. I haven't seen the goals yet, by the way. I'm just like, what I'll do is after the stream, I will... Um, apparently, we did really well. So, yeah, let me talk to you guys about these game modes, yeah? So... We know that Gameloft are focusing their priority in terms of raids will take them six months, right? Now, they mentioned something called Guild Wars. So basically, I've, I've played a game called Marvel Strike Force and they have um, something very similar. And basically it's where one guild gets put up against another guild depending on depending on the total awesomeness this is how I, I think they're gonna do it the total awesomeness of the of the guilds that's how they're gonna decide who you're facing so it'll be our guild against another guild and then basically we'll be doing fights against each other in a certain time period, like say 24 hours, who gets the most points will win that war. So that's what that is in a nutshell. So that's a new game mode, but they won't be able to do that, I believe, until the raids are up. There's no point working on Guild Wars before releasing raids. That's just my opinion. So that looks like something that They've just, you know, they brainstormed that idea, in my opinion. Yeah, that's right, Nick Games. Guild Wars, Alliance Wars. You know what I mean, because you've played Marvel Strike Force. Right. Now, when you look at um, a boss fight, that might be similar to... Um, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes where you have your lineup against a big boss with a lot of health or a lot of buffs and there might be some conditions you can only face that boss with say the Ninjago faction for example so that would be my opinion so all of us will be up against that big boss with a lot of health and it will be all about how much damage your team of five do against that big boss, for example. So, again guys, this is my opinion on these game modes. So, don't take it as, you know, what I say is going to happen. But I've got a feeling that this is where the idea is coming. So, when you think of Tower, for example, I'm thinking of a game called... Um, Mortal Kombat. 
So anyone who plays Mortal Kombat, they have a tower and then you've got various floors where you take a team, in our case we would take a team of five, and you'll be beating those floors until you get defeated. And then you'll have sort of like a, a refresh time. And you keep beating all the floors until you get the big, there'll be like sub bosses and then one big boss at the end. And you'll just keep picking up rewards. So, and if, any of you who play Mortal Kombat, that's what I think that would be. But the thing, the, the interesting thing with raids is everybody thinks that it could be raids where you're, you're going with your guilds. They might even release something called solo raids. There's a game called Injustice 2 Mobile. They released raids where, there's, uh, where all your alliance members fight against sub bosses and then the main boss. But it's possible that they might release solo raids. So, for example, you are the one facing sub bosses and big bosses. So, it all depends on what more information Gameloft give us, right? So, this is kind of extension what I was talking to Reggie about yesterday. Now, I'm just going to put this Brixpedition fights on auto. Let me just catch up with you guys in the chat because the chat's going wild here. So, GKM saying, yeah, Reggie, it's a bummer, but it's better than nothing. Uh, B Up Brick says, lately I haven't been keeping up with all the game content coming out. I've just been busy and tired. Yeah, those long hours, my dude, I feel you. I know what it's like. Nick Games, I want raids so then I can be more active in the game. Yeah, you see, I agree with that. A lot of us just want more game modes. Like, just bringing new characters, um, reworks and all of this. It's, you know... I, I tell you one thing, Nick, yeah? Something as simple as this here. If you're playing this game, you're either... Two things, you're either a collector, someone who likes collecting minifigures, upgrading them and making them strong. Or you're someone that's driven by achievements or tasks. So for example, something as similar, uh, as small as achievements, they could just improve, give us more achievements. Give us a chance to take Magisto to seven stars. Give us a way to, you know, more, you know, give us game modes. Now they're saying that not all the um, brick paces will have an all-star link to it because there isn't enough minifigures in the game. Well, duh, if you bring in more minifigures or more factions and more sets, well, then you will then have more all-stars to go with brick paces. So they're kind of saying, well, you know, our hands are tied because we don't have enough minifigures. Well, then, you know, just create more minifigures. Focus on that. What, what else? What else have we got? Let me just get back into bricks, guys. I don't want to lose. All right, let me just go up. Put the Ninjago's here. Because map six, if I'm not focusing. Ninjago's are very strong now. Uh, beat up, 185k. in my roster right okay Reggie says the modes all sound great but it's just a matter of when I've been playing for almost a year now and much like fancy Matt who was in my shot feel like I have nothing to aim for anymore it's tough Well, you know what the funny thing is? The very little content creators that are left, they're not like... They weren't... They're not content creators that have been there since beta or from the very first day of global launch. All of those content creators have gone.
Yeah, I don't need to mention their names, guys. You know who they are, yeah? Probably some of you were introduced to the game through them. Yeah, so the current content creator program doesn't have those type of players anymore. They are gone, long gone. So... I don't want to kind of say any more about that. Uh, GKM says, Wizbang versus ME will be such a rivalry. Yes, GKM. Definitely. That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, Mick's got a cool idea of us making our own guild. What do you think? Well, I love your ideas, dude. Keep bringing them. Black Ninja, welcome to the stream, my dude. You're late. Don't worry. You're here now. That's the most important thing. I'm just trying to put gameplay on while talking to you guys. Because I do have quite a lot of opinions on what's going on, as you probably can tell. Yeah, GKM, about the tower sounds like a good time. Yeah, I mean, that's just my um, opinion on based on other games, other mobile games, right? You see, GKM can confirm, yes, I started just after Global, but all the OGs are out. Right, so Nick says... I someone found the game on my own, but remembered it was being made from a video a while ago when I first got to the game. Okay, D B up says, dude, I have enough master currency to unlock Willow. Should I do it or should I save up for gens? I kind of want gens. Well, you're kind of already answering your question, B up, because you're more inclined to go after gens. Okay, my answer to that is very simple, be up. Uh, Jens has a fantastic kit. He's a very good plug and play character. So for example, if you're working on your Magistos Tower team, he could probably replace your ghosts. Yeah? Um, again, if you want to do that Gore World Challenge, you'd be fantastic for that. I'm not sure if you've done that last tier. Again, if you don't have a six star ghosts, maybe by the time it comes back round, you may be able to get a six star ghost. Things like that. For me personally, I'm going to go after, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm going all in for Willa. I think Willa is a, is a top tier character. For some reason, it won't go into the... As you can see, I'm 17 out of 65. I've got a long way to go because I'm still farming Lloyd. And I'm thinking of maybe replacing uh, Garmadon and Lloyd. This is a long term in the future here. Putting Willa with um, Basil in my um, arena team. That's where I'm going with that. But there is another thing, another way that I could go down is with Slimer. I'm pretty sure Reggie's going down that route where he wants to get Slimer. Because I've noticed in Arena that it's kind of tricky to play with ghosts, I must admit. Well let me let me I want a second um, fight here against this uh, Ninjago team. Hold on guys, I'll answer back your in the chat in a minute. Well let's put the clumsy on on Gamadon. Oh wow. Forget it. 
You see, Reggie, that's why I don't put Clumsy on Garmadon. He has a higher chance of dodging over, um, over Lloyd. Oh, actually, on that point, guys, for, 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 for those of you who weren't here yesterday, the dodge for Lloyd, Garmadon, and Aurora has been confirmed they will be nerfed. So I do believe... I'll show you what I mean in the stats. For example, Lloyd, who has a dodge of 18, is going to be reduced to 15. It's not a major nerf, but there's going to be a nerf on Aurora, Garmadon, and Lloyd. And I've made a mistake here because I should have healed up with Garmadon. Let's see if... If I can survive this... Okay, we're in the driving seat here, guys. Now we're going to go after... Let's go after Jay. Can we get rid of Jay? Oh, Jay's in trouble. It's a 5v4. Let's shred. Yes, 14k! Holy moly on the basic Garmadon! Holy moly! That's a 14k basic crit from a 4 star gear 7 Lord Gamadon. Oh my god, that's a Darth Vader moment right there, ladies and gentlemen. Do not sleep on your Gamadon. Reggie, keep going, Reggie. Don't quit the game. Just keep. Get your brick pace. Not brick pace, your brick expedition. Get this bad boy to 7 stars. It's gear 7. Keep going, Reggie. Give this guy his, his ultimate so we can keep Reggie in the game. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> right, let's get rid of Garmadon. Payback is just beautiful here, guys. We're getting our sweet revenge. Garmadon MVP, guys. The return of the beast. Yeah, you can have your vulnerable, um, your lonesome. Um, what's this, Master War? He's gonna get shredded, but the Hardy's gonna save him, right? Oh boy, another fourteen k! I told you the Hardy would save him. Holy moly! There we are on the stream. Up the rank we go. Are you not entertained? Look at that, guys. That question pops up on the screen. You know you guaranteed entertainment, right? <laughs> Blowing my own trumpet here, guys. Right, who are we going to get here? Oh, Mr. Great White, what a useless minifigure. Well, let's go back to bricks here. How are we doing? Up, down, check it all about. We've got pirates down below with Wu. We've got Ninjago with... Let's go. Let's go up here. Let's put on Scarlet. Let's heal up. Let's put Jay. Right, let's have a look. What are you guys saying in the chat? Yeah, so GKM says go Willa regarding that question. Be up. Speaky All Stars is coming back soon. Yeah, that's a very good point. 
Willie is a killer. I love that, Reggie. Or soonish. Black Ninja, I don't like that the first mission has random enemies for the final three chapters, especially if they put Chicken Soup Guy with a tank. It's hard to get rid of Chicken Soup Guy and prevent him from using his ultimate on you when Lloyd stealths everyone on Valiant or Chuck or Headley. Okay, yeah, Taunters. I won't go for Willa. I don't have Basil. Alright, okay. Okay, you've got a five star Basil. You know what? On the side, I'm working on my Basil. Beat up. How much is um, in terms of gear? How is he looking? Well, I'm facing pirates here, yeah? So I would go Lloyd. Lloyd here. No. And I'm gonna go bring in. Let's borrow beat up J, yeah? Look at that beefy J, guys. Thing of beauty. Reggie, I don't even use Basil with Willa. She's that good even on her own. Yeah, she's OP. You're, you're, you're looking for Slimer for that team, right? Welcome to the stream, Muzamil. How you doing, my dude? Make sure you vote on my community page. Reggie, yeah, I'm aiming to get Slimer with a four-star Ghostbuster. Yeah, you, you've planned that really well. How's your Ecto... I forgot what you said about the Ecto-1. Is that still only... Is that ready to go, Reggie, your Ecto-1 set? GKM says, I'm going to be like two tiles short of Slimer. Oh, wow. How close can you be? Let's hope there's a um, time quest to get um, those extra tiles, GKM. Reggie says, spent all my spooky event currency on Slimer tiles. Yeah, that was the, the way to go. Black Ninja says, I don't have master event heroes. GKM, that sucks, dude. Yeah, big sad. Black Ninja says he's got Diggy J. Uh, Reggie says you'll probably get a nerf soon anyway. What's that? Um, Gamadon, yeah? Big bad. Boy, we, he is going to get a nerf on his dodge. How are we doing for time? Actually, let's quickly look at those stats, guys. So we're going to Heroes. Just... We go to stats, and if you look here at dodge, you see Lloyd is 18. That's going to be reduced to 15 in the updates, or very soon, yeah? Don't ask me which update, but I'm not sure if it's 8 or 9. Garmadon, another one. You go into the stats here, you go into dodge. 28, that goes down to 24, I believe. So he has a higher chance to dodge more than Lloyd. Aurora is another one. Let's have a look at Aurora. Poor old, poor old Aurora, guys. She's had the nerf with the set, right? Now she's getting her own nerf as well. Yeah, so 25. Pretty high dodge. I think that's probably going to go down to... Uh, I can't remember the, the number it's going to go down, but it's not a huge you know, difference. But Arena, I think we're done, right? We'll have to end on six for the day. So top 10 has no pirates. The pirates are dead in my shard, guys. Oh no, there is one. It's the Kartovsky Buccaneers with the Forbidden Island and he's a he's the most awesomeness out of all of us so you need to have a really beefy up Buccaneers team with Kartoski with um, he's basically the counter to any Lloyds so all these Lloyds here that's his counter to it I'm looking into that by the way so be up if you're having trouble in your shot and you've got you've got I know you've got Kartoski 
That could be a way forward. Right, we got where are we going up or down? If we go down, we got a choice, right? Let's go down then. Should we stay with the? Let's go with the tried and trust, tried and uh, trusted here. Let's go with our friend Scarlet. Right, we want to go after our friends. Wow, nice little crit there. Yuppie. Well, two crits gets rid of our good friend Yuppie. There'll be no reviving from him. Right, back to the chat here, guys. GKM says that Garmadon shock and slap. Yeah, man. He's, I love Garmadon. BR Brick says my DigiJ is seven stars. Congrats. GKM says same. He loves him. Black Ninja says Garmadon is a beast. Oh, yeah. Hey, GKM, great white OP. You'll see. No, no, he's a dust collector for me. Be up says great white, more like mediocre white. <laughs> oh boy, be up says my basil is collecting dust right now. What the top shelf, yeah, be up. GKM Slimer is the best fig in the game. Oh, you know what? I'll have to agree with you. He's up there. No, not only is the beefiest. He is just, oh, he's a, such a great character. Reggie says, my Ecto is only two stars, so will be the main focus on the next event. Yes, Reggie, for sure. That Ecto, you need some pumping currency into that for sure. <laughs> right, if we go up, we go, We've got pirates. We've got Ninjago now. Let's get ready for the Ninjago. Let's go with the pirates. And. Have we got someone that we can borrow his goods? We've got Gorwell here. We've got another Diggy J. Let's put a Diggy J in there. Okay, it's 22 for um, Aurora's Dodge. All right, guys, thanks for that. That's right, GKM. Pirates with Major Kotoski can hang. You can see that evidence right there in my shards. I might have to upgrade my um, my top 10 free-to-play arena with those statistics and see who who are the top 10 farmable arena minifigures in the game. In my shard, obviously. Uh, B up says my major Kotoski is four stars. You're looking good then. I think that is my Diggy J because I forgot to update it when I got him to seven stars. All right, B up. Well, we're using him now. Look at that. Awesome shredding there. The ninjas got absolutely wild. That's all right, Black Ninja. No worries, my dudes. I think it's um, Ninjago all the way here, guys. Any more Ninjagos you can just join up? We've got a Will of the Witch here. Couple of gens, Kartoski. We've got a couple of weaklings here, look at that. 
Let's go with, you know who I could go with? Magisto, just to speed everyone up. I could go go well. Let's go Willow, make it interesting. Hey Sadeep, how you doing my dude? Welcome to the stream, great to have you with us. Yeah Black Ninja, I'm facing quite some beefy um, opponents in this uh, map 6, map 7 of Brickspedition. Lost Lloyd? No, oh, we did. Let's take this out of water for a sec. And we've lost Willa here. Right, let's shred these guys. How much damage are we going to get from this ultimate? Ooh, 9k! Oh, Garmadon dodges! Down goes Redbeard with a nice, beautiful crit there. Can we get rid of Cookbot before he heals up everyone? Down he goes with another crit. Oh yes, 2v2. We're not looking too good here, guys. Oh, let's go after Scarlet. It's okay. We can come back again and get rid of these two. Whoa, one shot from Argenta there. Yeah, she's weak there, uh, beat up. Oh, no, we can't go with this team. That's the most OP team <laughs> they were going in with. You almost feel sorry for the opponents. I don't think she's even going to get a goal, to be honest. Right, which one's the best move here? No, it's it's probably this one here. Times one, guys. Can we get rid of her? Boom! Ah. <laughs> now she goes. Oh, GKM, thank you so much. The royalty of Lego Legacy has to go. Thanks for joining us, my dudes. That's going to be your nickname now, GKM. Every time you pop into my stream, you're going to be hit with that royalty tag, yeah? The royalty of LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed. <laughs> so 
Sadeep says, I had the same team to go up against, actually. I used Colts, Kelvin, Bart, Scarlet, Redbeard, alongside borrowing a giant Kai. Oh, Guild Kai, sorry. Guys, we are two days away from in Garmadon to a five-star Garmadon. Black Ninja, hopefully the stream won't end when you're back. And I'm back. I'm back. Did it cut up for a bit? BX Hitman, welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm doing good, thank you very much, my dude. So, you ain't gonna believe this, guys. Oh, right, okay, Black Ninja. <laughs> I only realized this yesterday. I was talking about, you know, why the dev team won't add achievements. But, this achievement here, I can't remember who mentioned it to me yesterday, but someone mentioned it. It might have been you, Sadib, actually. Yeah, I think it was Sadib. Add a thousand heroes that match the excavation bonus tag. So what I was doing, always read, read things carefully, guys. What, what I was doing was I was only adding the heroes to get the bonuses. So for example, like I would go one, two, three, four, five. I would get to the 600k and then I would stop. But if you actually add the ones with these times multipliers, that adds towards the achievements. Yeah, that's that's fine, Black Ninja. It's my mistake. So like just keep adding these ones guys don't make the mistake that i've been doing all these days like these ones they will not make no difference if you know about it already guys well good for you but i only realized that yesterday you see it just pop up there from the achievements and that's because i had some help from sadeep otherwise i'll still be at it at least I keep remembering to put these guys into the bonus, right, for the next day. Because remember guys, I used to keep forgetting until my general was number one and general number two used to keep reminding me. DRC, don't forget, put your minifigures in. Alright, beat up bricks. I'm going to be going shortly as well, my dudes. In less than 10 minutes. I completed that achievement forever ago. So what are you saying then, beat up? Once you get to um once you get to a thousand, that's it, yeah? It, there's no more achievement. Oh that's probably what he means then. If he's done it a long time ago. That's probably why you've got more magisto tiles than me. I'm not too bothered, guys, about these last two nodes here getting a gold trophy. All I was interested was actually the, the the J the J nodes. Getting that gold was what I was at least wanting to get.
Well, beat up. Is there anything else that you wanna you wanna know about regarding the uh, the updates? I've spoken about um, the sets. Now there is one set that's going to get a rework, which is the lighthouse. This lighthouse point is going to get a rework. It doesn't really matter. I've got mine at five stars, so they'll probably add another passive or two. That's what I'm thinking. And that's going to beef up the city minifigures. So we already know that the city minifigures here, Minor Clay is going to get a rework and Explorer Iggy. Apparently Explorer Iggy, um, she's going to give more health to all uh, city characters is what one buff is in terms of uh, She's also going to have more damage on her ultimate as well. And I think she's going to have um, heal block on her ultimate. And there's something else that they've put on to um, ultimate, which I can't remember now. She's going to get more damage. Like, I think that's going to go up quite a lot in terms of damage to all foes. And a heal block. I don't know if Reggie's on the inner stream whether he can remind me. But anyway, if he is or if he isn't. Wait, DRC, is your J five stars? Let's have a look at my J. He's probably gone, Nick, right? <laughs> right. He did say he was going, so fair enough. There's Jay, five stars. Five stars, five free, four free. Gear five. Oh yes, guys, what do we think of this minifigure here? I bet you all can't wait to unlock him tomorrow. One, two, three, he's trash! <laughs> Iggy's a boy. That's how much I know about Iggy. I don't even know whether he's a boy or a girl. I'm quite a way off um, BX. I think I've only got like 2,000 shards only, 2,000. Sadeep says Primo is actually pretty good against Ninja because of his anti stealth. Clears taunt and stealth from all foes. Foes who had stealth cleared by this ability are inflicted with disarm for one turn. Foes who had a taunt cleared by this ability are inflicted with vulnerable. I see what you mean. His ultimates. But the thing is, will he survive long enough to get that ultimate off. That is the question. All right, Black Ninja, we're also gonna call it an end to the stream as well, guys. 
It has been a blast hanging out with you guys. You've all been awesome. Shout outs to you guys in the chat. Black Ninja, BX Hitman, Nick Games Sadeep, Reggie, Beat Up Bricks, GKM Gaming. Anyone else, if I've missed out, Mozamil, all of you guys have been awesome. I hope to catch up with you very, very soon with some new videos and content and excitement. That's all I have for you guys. So, a massive fist bump. Make sure you stay safe, take care, leave a like. Make sure you put your vote in, guys, in my community page. And take care, guys, and bye for now.